what's going on man back again let's just jump right back into it right back into the game and first let me let me preface this video by saying that i am not a redskins fan i am in no way shape or form involved in any dc sports organization club team whatever what have you capitals wizards redskins all that not a fan of any of those organizations, but I've lived in the DMV my whole entire life, so I've had to hear about it. And I know my shirt is wrinkly, but I don't care. Swag. Anyway, what the Redskins just did, what they just accomplished to get that number two pick, six thumbs up. They, it needed to be done. It needed to be done. The Redskins have been a quarterback-deprived organization for the past 80,000 years. They haven't had a franchise quarterback ever at all. Psych, I know, I know, Joe Theismann, blah, blah, blah. I know. That was just exaggeration. That was just sarcasm. But anyway, now they've got the second the second pick overall of this draft coming up. And more than likely, they're going to take Robert Griffin the third, or RG3, as, as the kids like to call him now these days. Beautiful pick. It had to be done. It had to be done. Seriously. All you naysayers, all you criticizers talking about they they had they gave up their whole farm, Daniel Snyder, it's nothing new with Daniel Snyder, blah blah blah, it's dumb pick. It was the stupidest, dumbest pick ever I mean stupidest, dumbest trade ever of all time and it shouldn't have been done. Who who would y'all have took? Who would y'all have took? Please let me know. What quarterback who would y'all would y'all have picked up? Let, look at the circumstances at what Washington's at hand right now, what they're given with. Peyton Manning wasn't coming to D.C. Eli Manning, obviously, or Elite Manning, I should say. Andrew Luck is going to the Colts. So who else? Let's look at the options the Redskins had at quarterback. We ain't talking about building, building pieces right now. We're talking quarterback. Quarterback. This is what the Redskins need. You look at today's game in, a society, in, in today's game, NFL, it's all about the quarterback, and the Redskins need a quarterback point blank, period, bro. Broski. I mean, look, who who would y'all have, have taken at, at quarterback? I, let me know. Let me see. This this the options that the Redskins had, right? So, like I said, no Peyton Manning, no, no Andrew Luck, right? Rex Grossman, sit, take another year, Rex Grossman and, and John Beck. Take another year. If that happens, Mike Shanahan, he's fired. He's finished. He's done. Maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. Uh, who else? What other NFL veteran quarterback? Matt Flynn. Oh, man, Matt Flynn. Everybody's on Matt Flynn's nuts. Everybody's on Matt Flynn's nuts. For what? I don't know. Matt Flynn. No, I'm taking RG3 over him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's just as much as a question mark as RG3 is. Oh, but he's playing the, he's playing the NFL. Da, 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 da. I know. So? And what? Does he have a championship? He's just as much as a rookie as RG3 is a rookie. But anyway, Matt Flynn, nah, I'm taking RG3. Kyle Orton, Kyle Orton, Kyle, Cowboy Bob Orton, Kyle the Viper Orton, nah, no thanks. Jason Campbell, he's a free agent, right? Jason Campbell, nah, no thanks. Who else? Who else? Let's go to the draft. Let's go to the draft. Okay, Ryan Tannehill. Nope. And because of how weak this quarterback class is, other than Andrew Luck and, and, and RG3, Ryan T people are talking about Ryan Tannehill. Seriously, Ryan Tannehill. Now, I like, I like his upside. I mean, he he's a big boy, 6'4", 220-something pounds. Yes, he played in the Big 12. Big 12 doesn't play defense, yada, yada, yada. RG3 played in the Big 12. I understand that, but Sam Bradford played in the Big 12. He's all right. Rams are, are confident in him being their quarterback. He in the bus. He's still growing. Every single quarterback in this draft has got has to grow. Yes, that includes Andrew Luck, even though he is the most quarterback ready uh, quarterback that I've seen ever seen. But anyway, we off that. So no to Ryan Tannehill. Who else in this quarter in this in this draft? Brock Osweiler, all eight feet tall. Brock Osweiler, the stiffest quarterback I've ever seen in my life. No thank you. Kirk Cousins. Uh, uh, Nick Foles. Oh, Andy Dalton, Andy Dalton, Andy Dalton. Nah, Redskins need a quarterback right now. They need a quarterback right now. No thanks to those two. Russell Wilson and, and Kellen Moore, the midgets. Nah, no thank. 
even though I no thanks. Even though I done seen Russell Wilson firsthand, he destroyed my Mountaineers in the Champs Bowl. I know what Russell Wilson could do, but he's a baseball guy. Yeah, Kellen Moore, four feet five, Kellen Moore. I mean, I I got respect for the dude, but no thanks, man. We talking about po we talking about franchise quarterback. The Redskins need a franchise quarterback, and you got a chance to take a guy like RG three, Robert Griffin the third. You got a chance to get a guy like that, the most charismatic, uh, off the field leadership qualities, all of that, all of that. If there's anybody that I could, if you could, you you ask me to take out of all those names that I just that I just spit it out. Out of all those guys, I'm taking RG3. I don't care. I don't care. Build with him. Build with him. And y'all talking about that, the Redskins threw away they draft? No, they didn't. They still got the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh. They still got the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh of the 20, what, 2013, 2014. They still have the second through seventh picks. I understand the first round talent, all that. Yeah, yada, yada, yada. There's, oh, yeah. Let's just act like there's Pro Bowls flying off the first round uh boards like like it's nothing sorry no first round is bust too come on baby so rg3 it needed to be done good move i can't believe i'm defending the redskins again like i said i'm not a skins fan but i've seen what it is that organization i've called it the, the talent graveyard they needed something and luckily for them it looks like they're gonna get rg3 so good job to them and hey, let's see what happens. Build with him. Build with him. Everybody talk about oh Cam Newton, Cam Newton. No, no. No quarterback is ever gonna come back, come out, throw for four thousand yards and come close to rushing for a thousand yards. Are you kidding me? At six five, two hundred eighty five thousand pounds? Looking like a daggone running back. No, thank you. That's never ever gonna happen again. For from a rookie. That's not gonna happen. But R G three, with his leadership qualities, with his charisma with his man he's gonna have dudes in dc just straight slobbing and drooling all over him man chocolate city y'all finally got a leader y'all finally got somebody that's gonna sell tickets i'm i think i might go to wrestling's game a time or two so i'm excited i'm actually excited so good move uh shanahan and y'all boys daniel snyder uh bruce allen y'all had to do what y'all had to do i'm for it I'm not a Skins fan, but I, I respect that. I respect that. So, I mean, come on. Skins Skins quarterbacks for the past what? I don't know. Patrick Ramsey, okay? Jason Campbell, Rex Grossman, John Beck. Who? Seriously? Uh, Mark Brunel. Green 40! Green 40! Like, come on, bro. Sage Rosenfels, Heath Schuler. Donovan McNabb at the end of not Philadelphia uh Donovan McNabb but 80 year old Donovan McNabb not Jacksonville Jaguar Mark Brunel but Mark Brunel over the hill like come on bro Patrick Ramsey aka Little B Base Gun true base boys y'all know y'all know that y'all understand that Patrick Ramsey bro Jason Campbell never really got a chance uh if there's anybody that can do that can do the job, it's RG3. I believe it. I've been following the dude. I respect his game. I respect his off the field game even more. This this guy is definitely up to the task. You seen what he did at Baylor? Put Baylor on the map himself single handedly. Oh, but he plays the Big Twelve. The Big Twelve they don't play defenses. Okay, sure, whatever. Um, look, man. Who else on Baylor? Who else on Baylor? Would, 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 did y'all hear about besides RE three? I know Kendall, Kendall Wright. True college football fans, y'all know it wasn't just RG three and Kendall Wright. Terrence Ganaway, Terrence Williams, uh, Tevin Reese. Baylor's got some playmakers, and they're definitely going to be. They're going to have a drop off, but whatever. Who cares about Baylor right now? Why am I talking about Baylor? But long story short, even though this is a long video, good job, Mike Shanahan and whoever, Reskins F O. As I always see on the internet these days, their front office, it had to be done. It had to be done. RG3, no thanks to all those other quarterbacks I just named. That's what we talking about, right? It's a quarterback league, right? That's what it's about. Give me RG3 or give me something else. Psych? Nah, it's all about RG3.